Welcome everybody uh, in the continuing series of the Art of Memory. Uh, my contribution to this is a southern response to the civil rights movement. Ten sticks of dynamite, four dead children. Because that was the day that the civil rights movement became real to me and it changed my life immediately and forever. Four little girls, all but one older than me, had died in that blast. I saw their faces for the first time on the news that night. I saw their innocent faces, and I was horrified and scared to know that their young lives had ended in a savage attack on a house of but they're not, I responded. They're God's people too. And I recalled what I had learned in Sunday school, that we were all God's children. And I remembered the song, Jesus Loves the Little Children. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world, red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his the memory that is there that will never go away. On that day, I saw the error and the evil behind segregation in Birmingham for the first time. Before that day, segregation was just the way things were. I knew I was supposed to drink from the white water fountain in stores and black mothers lifted their children to the one labeled colored. I walked to one elementary school and the black children who lived one block away walked past our house to go to their school. So, this was the bombing of the 16th Street Baptist Church. And that church was also situated on 6th Avenue. My church in Birmingham was located at 18th Street and 7th Avenue, which was two blocks east and one block north. This one is from September 2008. So imagine a huge mall-like waiting room at the world-famous UAB hospital. Two women, one black, one white, with very sick relatives in intensive care. Strangers getting to know each other over a couple of days, holding hands, praying together, and nobody paying them any attention. I did not find a playmate in segregated Birmingham of the 1960s, but 35 years later, I did find a playmate.